This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Parshas Re, the Torah gives us the very important warning. Navi. If a prophet rises among you, or someone who has a dream, and he comes to you and he says, serve other gods that you don't know, that you did not grow up with, worship them. The Pasuk continues, don't listen to the Navi or the streamer, God is just testing you to see if you really love him. The Balatura makes a very puzzling comment on these words, Ki yakum bekerbecha navi. Says our version of the Balaturim, Ki yakum bekerbecha, bekerbecha begematria zu ha'isha. The word bekerbecha is, has a numerical value of this is the woman. Actually, in some editions of the Balaturim, the Balaturim says bekerbecha navi, the gematria is zu ha'isha. Now, according to that version, bekerbecha navi, Bekerbecha Navi is Gematria 387. Zu Ha'isha is Gematria 324. The numerical values are not even equivalent or anywhere close to each other. So the simple solution is in our new versions of the Baal Turim, he says, Kiyakum Bekerbecha, Bekerbecha is Gematria, Zu Ha'isha. Bekirbecha is Gematria, this is the woman. Now, what, still, even though Bekirbecha is Gematria 324 and Zuha Isha is 324, this still does not rectify the problem of what is the Baal Turim talking about? What do you mean, this is the woman? Which woman? Now, this could be explained because the Baal Turim seems to be quoting the Sifri, and the Sifri says, Bekirbecha. <coughs> to include a woman. This teaches that even a woman who claims to be a Nevi'ah and tries to persuade you, she would, have, she would still uh, suffer the same consequences. But in that case, why does the Baal Turim say, Zu Ha'isha, this is the woman? What, which, is, which specific woman is he referring to? Yes, the Safri says, Isha, but what is Zu Ha'isha? So there is an incredible astounding comment of Rabbi Kivegar. Rabbi Kivegar says in the times of the Balaturim, there were many advocates of Christianity who were looking for support and allusions in the Chumash to the concept of their false God, that a woman had an immaculate conception, chas v'shalom, without the involvement of a man, and they were always searching for indications in the Psukim, and therefore HaKadosh Baruch Hu Metchilasai knew that there would be this false religion, and he put into the Torah, in this very parsha that talks about the false prophet, an allusion to this situation. Originally the text said, Ki yakum bekirbecha navi, says the Balaturim, bekirbecha navi, which is 387, begematria zu ha'isha ubena. This is the woman, the woman, and her son, a reference of course to Yeshu Hanoitzri. Because the gematria of Ha'isha is 311, Zu is 13, Ubena is 63. That is the gematria of Bekirbecha Navi, 387. Bekirbecha Navi is gematria Zu Ha'isha Ubena. However, the censors came and they took it out. As you could imagine, this would be very offensive to those who believe in this false religion. And they made it, they downgraded it from Bekirbecha Navi, Zuha Isha Ubna, to Bekirbecha, which is Gematria Zuha Isha, which you could say, oh, it's referring to the Sifri, Larabi says Isha, but what it in fact refers to is Zuha Isha Ubna, Leka Midi de la Ramiza by Raisa. So even this false Messiah, this false God, is alluded to in the very parsha that talks about the false prophet, Bekirbecha Navi, Begematria Zuha Isha Ubna, wishing everyone. A great day. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.